All right, so while I'm waiting in line at the drive through I thought this was a much better opportunity to discuss my politics. And uh, while I am uh, safely in line at the drive through and not driving around town, especially since I got faulty glasses on. Don't tell anybody about that. But anyway, um, uh, these are my makeshift glasses until I get a better pair because I took off the little nosy things from the other one. Uh, but I was speaking with regards to the... Um, political movements in the United States with regards to liberals and conservatives over the issue of welfare and government assistance and what the Bible has to say about this versus what our uh, political movements and conservative uh, not conservative uh, political movements and uh, uh, political parties have to say about this. So with regards to you know welfare and giving to the needy and everything well he, let's let's talk about the Bible in the Bible it says if a man won't work, don't feed him. Uh, that means that if you have an able-bodied male, uh, you don't give him assistance if he is more than capable of working. But there are more than one complicated labor issues nowadays. You know, you have companies that can uh, make you ineligible to rehire, and if more and if you piss off enough companies, you can uh, you can throw yourself into almost like a permanent unemployment. Uh, you know, just by you know walking out of several companies. Now, in my opinion, I think there should be. A, grace period where eventually you know you find forgiveness uh for whatever behavior you exhibited that got you thrown out of your particular job uh for other people you know they think obviously may, the companies are well within their rights to uh hire who who and whoever they don't want to but i think this really sacks your labor force and it puts us in a strange predicament uh with the homeless you know like i see a lot of able-bodied homeless males uh up where i work in des moines on southeast 14th street um and they're wearing mechanic shirts and you know like i wonder why are they homeless and why are they uh why are they, you know, panhandling? Well, some of them, uh, you know, are working a corner, and that's kind of what has become the case in Grimes. I don't think that Grimes has a serious homeless problem, but in Des Moines, there are legitimate homeless people, and the homeless population is growing. Uh, Merle Hay is give or take. I think there's some some of them that are working a corner, and some of them that are legitimately homeless. If you are so well off to bring an umbrella while you are panhandling, you probably don't need assistance, or you don't need me to give you a buck from my car. But anyway, I'm not here to judge the homeless. That would be a very stupid and arrogant thing. And I think between the liberals and the conservatives in this country, you're you're caught between a rock and a hard place between gullibility and insensitivity uh, in the way they um, preserve and promote their ideas. Now, in America... Uh, in America versus other countries, you know, being a conservative or liberal means different things. Uh, liberal has come to become associated with socialism and communism. Um, conservative has come to align with, you know, traditional values and, you know, the will of God. Uh, yeah, it plays a big part, you know, pro protection of private property and religion, uh, you know, that which is also a, a good, strong cornerstone of our country. I am, by rights, uh, generally conservative. Uh, I would call myself a Republican more officially, uh, but if and when you know neither of these titles suits me, I'm just kind of an independent, independent thinker. And there's another movement in the United States called the American Independent Party, which I'm sometimes re revisiting and every now and then uh, dabbling in. Uh, the American Independent Party was started in my in my. Uh, um, uh, political um, uh, ascension. Uh, you know, I, 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 like I base my values in, in my independent th thoughts more so on the on the independent party of Millard Fillmore and some of the know nothings. And later on, it came to be associated with uh, similar different things, kind of like uh, the George Wallace movement, and later now the the conservative commentators like Bill O'Reilly, who's a Republican, but he's not really a Republican. You know, like whenever the parties don't suit you, you become an independent. And if you are uh, a an, an Ameri if you are a nationalist and an American you know protectionist, uh, I'm assigning a lot of is and isms here. Uh, you become an American independent, and there's other independents. You know maybe. A <laughs> 
who support a third party candidate, maybe like a green candidate or something like that. My dad used to support the green party just for fun, you know, because he got a kick out of Ralph Nader and I like Ralph Nader too, but a lot of Ralph Nader, a lot of Ralph Nader's success is in the private sector with regards to, you know, consumerism and, uh, you know, food quality and, and things like that. Ralph Nader has done a lot of good, you know, he's a very underrated, uh, public fit official. So, uh, I have no qualms against Ralph Nader. Um, as I'm cutting this video short, I'm trying to figure out what I was trying to get to. If a man won't work, don't feed him. Uh, that is a point in the Bible. But also we have new variables in our country like social security where the government's taking money away from you and that is really your money. Use it when you need it. You know, that's a J.G. Wentworth ad over by where I come from in Iowa. And then you also have the issue of... Um, so with regards to that, you know, like I said, I think people should have their social security money whenever the hell they want it uh, without being penalized. You know, that's a new movement. I got to cut this video short and then I'll, I'll uh, recap and continue. Goddamn, stop. <laughs>